English Mastery, The Magic of Stress Shift in Related Words Hello, language learners. Today, we're going to dive deeper into the realm of English pronunciation, specifically focusing on sentence stress patterns. A crucial part of understanding and using stress patterns correctly is acknowledging stress shift in related words. You might ask, what is it? Don't worry, we'll explore everything you need to know in a way that's easy to understand. Let's get started. Sentence stress is all about the emphasis we put on specific words within a sentence. Now, in English, a fascinating thing happens when related words, like a noun and its corresponding verb, come together. The stress or emphasis can shift from one syllable to another. This shift in stress helps to distinguish the role of the word in a sentence. Isn't that fascinating? Take the words, object, and object. The first one, with stress on the first syllable, object, is a noun. But when we shift the stress to the second syllable, object, it becomes a verb. This is stress shift. To grasp the concept better, let's consider some more examples. Record and record. The word record, record. With stress on the first syllable is a noun meaning a piece of data or information stored. But when we say record, record, stressing the second syllable, it becomes a verb meaning to capture sounds or images. Present and present, 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 with stress on the first syllable is a noun, but when the stress shifts to the second syllable, present, it becomes a verb. Remember, these are just a few examples. There are many more words in English that change their meaning with the shift of stress. Now, you might be thinking, why is this important? The stress shift is crucial for comprehension and fluency in English. It allows listeners to understand if the word being used is a noun, a verb, or fulfills another role in the sentence. Also, it helps create a rhythm in English speech which is necessary for fluent speaking and listening comprehension. So, that's all about the magic of stress shift in related words. Remember, English is a stress-timed language, so understanding how stress works is an essential part of mastering it. Keep practicing, and soon you'll find that you're recognizing and using these stress shifts naturally in your conversations. I hope this video was helpful to you. Until next time, happy learning, and remember, practice makes perfect.